are, on the back of Spirit. I thought I'd just give everyone a little bit of a tour. We do uh, the exterior and the interior tour. And now we're going to do the underwater tour. First I'll take it down and show you the rudder. The rudder is uh, <coughs> about, <coughs> the base of the rudder is about five foot below the waterline. Here's our waterline. And I'll take you down and show you the, uh, the bottom of the rudder. See the rudder is oh, it's quite long. It's quite thin. It's very thin and very long. It's made for high speed and it's got plenty of grip on the water. But, uh, we've really never lost control of the uh, <coughs> the boat. <coughs> in big seas or uh, or at high speed the rudder is really good super efficient and it's solid the shaft and the rudder blade itself is all carbon you see the back edge of spirit or the back edge you'll see the stern of spirit is quite flat i'll take you there now and show you That area there with my hand to the aft section, it's quite flat from the rudder aft, it's very flat. And you'll see the whole shape forward of the rudder gets quite round. I'll take you up and show you. And you can see the centerboard up there, the bottom of the centerboard is three metres, or about nine feet below the waterline. There's a cockpit drain. You can see we've got a chamois in there because sometimes the boat will sit to the, uh, will sit to the current. And if there's any waves coming the other way, they tend to go in there and the cockpit floor gets a little wet. So we just keep a chamois in there. We'll go up forward. And I'll show you the centerboard. The centre board's really thick, it's quite a big section, and it's quite deep. <coughs> the centre board's actually massive for this size of boat, and uh, that gives us a really good upwind ability. So uh, <coughs> the boat sails very well upwind, and uh, we can pretty much do 45 degrees either side of the wind, and that's over the ground. You know, so that's taking in leeway as well. So very little amount of leeway because of the size of centreboard. Take you up and give you a closer view of where the centreboard exits the main hull.
until you see where the centre board exits the main hull. <coughs> now, those two little black things, the one on the uh, port side is the, uh, the log, but it's not in at the moment. And the yellow one on the starboard side is the sounder, the depth sounder. You can see that Spirit's bow, the bow of Spirit's very straight. It's just about vertical. There's no flare in the bow of Spirit. That's really, uh, it's good, it's low volume, but the problem is it makes the boat very wet. So uh, as soon as we're sailing up, we need more than 15 knots. The boat is very wet. But uh, you can't have everything. There's always compromises. And that's the one with spirit. Now, this is a drain for the anchor locker. This is above the water. And we've got about one and a half metres of fall in the anchor locker. So that means we never have to flake the chain. And the beauty of it is any mud or any water that goes in the anchor locker just drains straight out overboard through that drain there. And we'll go forward. And I'll show you why spirit is such a comfortable ride if we do sail upwind. There's never any pounding. And uh, that's because the forward section's got such a big V on it. Yeah. We can see the, the holes are very narrow. And uh, I'll take you underwater now and just show you how big the V section is. That V runs all the way back to the centreboard. So it's a good one third the length of the way back of the boat. And uh, the centreboard's actually just forward of half. Uh, you can probably hear I'm a little bit cold. I've been in the water for about an hour. Just giving the uh, copper coat a bit of a rub. We're really impressed with this copper coat. It's unbelievable. I'm probably cleaning it once. Look, I just give it a wipe once a month and uh, and it's not getting any growth on it at all. We're in a really tropical area here. The water temperature's anywhere from probably about 27, 26 degrees. And, uh, and the copper coat is incredible. All right, now this is the, uh, the strop that I've made for the Prada the other day. You can see here, the, this is a white casing. So this is where the chain will rub. And then we've got the splice, and then we've got a rope shackle that I did. You see the rope shackle here. And I've put a, the same thing, a little casing on it. But this one's black, this one's light. I didn't, I didn't have enough black or I would have used black over the whole thing. And uh, it looks awesome. It should work really well. See our little anchor up there, hanging off the end of the little <coughs> bow sprit. And here's the dinghy. You see the dinghy hanging underneath the uh, tramp, the rear tramp. That's awesome. Dinghy hangs under there fine. Our board's out of the water. And it's really secure, it's really safe. And you can see the uh, engine mount. That's a leg. There's a hinge. That's the cable that's going through for the electric start and the throttle. There's a hinge, that, that whole bracket is bolted up underneath the two winches. And then it comes out the back here and there's the outboard. That's the fuel line. Yeah, that's a cockpit drain. All right, there's the dinghy. Now 
That's how Underwater Tour of Spirit. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone.